I'm getting ready to start trying to adjust the windows. I'm not really sure why this window looks like it has a sharper point right here and this is really curved. Well, just when I thought I was getting somewhere, here's the windows they sent me. I guess they sent me the ones for a coupe and not a convertible. Since I didn't have the top on, I didn't know what the angle was on the back. So both of my windows look like that. So now I gotta contact the company and try to get those sent back and get the right windows, which is gonna push this back several days. I guess the next thing I could do would be working on getting the carpet and stuff in. But I can't wash the, I guess I could tape some plastic on there and wash the top, try to get it looking better. Well, this time when I put the top down, it folded in there a lot easier. I mean, I had it in there in probably 20 seconds. And both of the door flaps closed right. So everything looks good back there. I'm um, getting ready to put some interior stuff in, carpet. I went ahead and checked all the, there's a fuse panel back there. I checked all the fuses in there to make sure that there's nothing blown or anything before I cover it up with carpet. So I'm going to take this seat out and get the carpet installed, clean, wipe it out first, and then uh, install the seat back and hook up the airbag stuff and uh, do that on this side and then hopefully the same thing on the other side get that back uh, panel in back there where the speaker is behind the seat and then I'll uh, be ready to get this thing cleaned up carpets in just got to hook up that uh, airbag module and bolt the seat down go ahead and clean all the plastics uh, all I got I can get to them easily and then uh, put this little seal plate back on that should be it on this side this side all complete big difference from what it looked like when we came and brought it in with the chicken chunks later but let's see if the chicken chunks are still in there yeah they still are <laughs> really filthy in there so we'll see how it cleans up And there we are. This driver's side's done. So the interior is back together except for door panels. So uh, when I, next thing I'm going to be doing is trying to get this old adhesive off of this. And uh, now that I've got this panel in right here, I can get all that fitted right. The piece that goes across there, and that'll keep that top wing in because it latches in a little hole right there. So it's coming along now, just waiting on windows. Hopefully I'll find out something about that today. Well, the goal today is to get this uh, 
outside of this car cleaned up the soft top cleaned up and restored we've got some cleaner that um, we're going to use on the canvas to actually cleans the canvas and then let it we have to let it get totally dry and then we're going to do the uh like a black restore dye that goes on there it has to sit on there for three hours <clears throat> and then hopefully that will uh, make this thing look really really good back to because that top looks really bad you'll see here in a minute when i lift it up but it's really faded out and sorry about my voice i am sick but it's like the post office the rebuilder must go on no dead of night or storm or rain or sickness can keep us from our job convertible top cleaner and it says to start we rinse thoroughly the top get any loose dirt and anything off of it and then while it's still wet apply this stuff and then scrub it with a soft brush <clears throat> so then we'll let it stand for a little while and then rinse it off and then gotta let it dry before we do the uh, dye So we've got the top clean. We'll just go ahead and let it sit out here and dry while I'm waiting for it to dry. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, the paint on this car just needs some some TLC. It just looks like it's not ever been like clay barred or anything like that. It just has some contaminants on it. it needs to be um, removed on mainly on the trunk and the hood. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it, get it clean, and then maybe work on that a little bit. So the top is dry. It actually looks a lot better just to clean, just being clean. So I'm still gonna uh, coat it with the dye because there's some. It's kind of splotchy, and there's some spots where you can see where the ribs are underneath. So I'm still gonna do that. It should look really good when we get done. I just wish I had a way to do something with. There's like a little bit of a I don't know if I call it a rip, but a little snag there and a little snag right here. If anybody has any ideas about how to address those, I'd appreciate it. And then uh, we'll go back through and I'm going to work on this paint a little bit. I'm going to get into some shade because it's too hot out here now. But I also have to raise the trunk back up and try to clean out, uh, clean the top that goes down below the trunk. I guess I'm gonna try to lay a towel down and so I don't get it all over the trunk and then just clean that with that same brush and try to get it cleaner so that I don't have a just a line right here when I open the trunk.
right, so I got the car back inside and I'm getting ready to put the uh, die on the canvas. So it's cooled off. Now you're supposed to leave it, um, once it's dry, you're supposed to uh, put the dye on and then let it sit for three hours and somewhere shaded and cool. So, so I've got it in here. I've also got the um, paint back in here where the car where it's nice and cool where I can put work on this paint a little bit. So here we go. Got the top part done looks pretty good looks even um, we'll see it's got to dry for three hours you can see I started on the other side and so it's already soaked in more than this side hopefully it all evens out in three hours and then uh, once that three hours is is up then I gotta pop the trunk and pop these little wings up so that I can get this trunk out of the way and then do the area around the window and then let it sit for three hours had to had to do this down because once this pops up I wouldn't be able to get this all uh, smooth right here because it'd be all wrinkled up so it takes a long time but we'll we'll try it again in three hours. Well it's been three hours so now I'm gonna get back here to the back and dye this back section. So the top looks pretty good. You can still see where it's a little bit lighter on the ribs, like right here. It looks worse in the camera than it does in real life. But uh, it's way darker than it was. So I think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna put another coat on it. I'm gonna do this back, see how it looks. When I got the back part done, for some reason the camera wasn't rolling when I was painting, so. Uh, it's done and it looks good so now I gotta let that sit for three hours and I've found another issue um, with the car every once in a while when you try to pop the trunk the actuator is not kicking in down there and popping it so you kind of have to uh, get in there and wiggle wires and on the on the button which is in the glove box there's a emergency release uh, thing right there in case somebody gets locked in the trunk but to get to it you have to take the inner fender liner off on the other side of the tire and the little vent and reach in there and pull that thing to get it to pop open. So I'm gonna take the switch out of the glove box and clean it and see if it's just got dirty contacts on it. So here's the switch. And the problem is, I looked it up on the good old Solstice Forum, which by the way reminds me, I wanna thank all you guys on the Solstice Forum that's been watching our videos and commenting and we really appreciate that. and. Uh, you've been sharing them and that helps us out a lot on the channel um, Here's another common problem that I found on there these Switches go bad quite a bit and they start working intermittently and just every once in a while You'll if your key fob doesn't work and then this doesn't work you're in trouble. You have to go through the back tire and go through that uh, vent in the side and pull the safety latch so uh, I ordered another switch. They say you can clean these up and make them work, but I just ordered a new one and I'm going to put it in. I tested it by hooking a jumper wire across uh, from the contacts um, on the actual uh, wiring harness and it pops open every time. So it's definitely a switch. So I've got that ordered. Do you have any questions about this week's video? Do you have an answer to one of the questions we asked? Leave a comment down below and always remember, don't retire it if you can rebuild it. See you guys next week. After this video, make sure to check us out on Instagram, where we post behind the scenes photos, sneak peeks, giveaways, and information for future projects. Thanks so much guys for tuning in and watching this week's episode of Rebuild It. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome content. Have a good one.